Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn indexing tables in Azure Synapse SQL Pool, and we will learn index types and recommendations and examples for indexing tables in Azure SQL Pool. And what are the causes of poor column store index quality? The last one, we will learn rebuilding indexes to improve segment quality. What are the index types? Azure Synapse SQL Pool offers several indexing options, including clustered column store indexes, clustered indexes, and non-clustered indexes, and a non-index option also known as heap. What is clustered column store indexes? By default, Synapse SQL Pool creates a clustered column store index when no index options are specified on your table. If we don't specify, if we don't define any index, the default index is clustered column store. Clustered column store tables offer both the highest level of data compression as well as the best overall query performance. Cluster column store tables will generally outperform cluster index or heap tables and are usually the best choice for large tables. For these reasons, cluster column store is the best place to start when we are unsure of how to index our table. To create a cluster column store table, we simply specify clustered column store index in the width class or leave the width class off. So here, if you see it in the example, create table, my table, table name, my table, and ID, last name, zip code with clustered column store index. There are a few scenarios where clustered column store may not be a good option. Column store tables do not support var character and var char and var binary. Consider heap or clustered index instead. And another scenario, column store tables may be less efficient for transient data. Consider heap and perhaps even temporary tables. And also, as we discussed in earlier modules, small tables with less than 60 million rows consider heap tables. These are the few scenarios where clustered column store may not be a good option. Our next index type, heap tables. When we are temporarily landing data in Azure Synapse SQL Pool, we may find that using a heap table makes the overall process faster. This is because loads to heaps are faster than to index tables and in some cases, the subsequent read can be done from caching. If you are loading data only to stage it before running more transformations, loading the table to heap table is much faster than loading the, da loading the data to a clustered column store table. In addition, loading data to a temporary table loads faster than the loading a table to a permanent storage. After data loading, we can create indexes in the table for faster query performance. So earlier we discussed in previous module designing a distribution in Azure Synapse SQL Pool. So we use round robin to load data in staging area. So the same thing in addition, loading data to a temporary table loads faster than loading a table to permanent storage. Cluster column store tables begin to achieve optimal compression once there is more than 60 million rows. For small lookup tables less than 60 million rows, consider using heap or clustered index for, cost, for faster query performance. To create a heap table, we should simply specify heap in the width class. Create table. ID last name zip code with heap. 
for cluster column store index same thing just width and cluster column store index for heap also with heap the other index types cluster and non cluster indexes cluster indexes may outperform cluster column store tables when a single row needs to be quickly retrieved for queries where a single or very few row lookup is required to perform with extreme speed consider a cluster index or non clustered secondary index the disadvantage to using a clustered index is that only queries that benefit are the ones that use a highly selective filters on the cluster index column to improve filter on other columns a non cluster index can be added to other columns however each index which is added to a table adds both space and processing time to loads to create a cluster index table simply specify cluster index in the with clause just table structure ddl create table and the attributes and with cluster index and the id to add a non cluster index on a table we use the syntax create index and just say zip code index on my table and then the attribute name zip code so here it is the syntax create index and then column name zip code index on my table and the column name zip code let's talk about optimizing cluster column store indexes Clustered column store tables are organized in data into segments. Having high segment quality is critical to achieving optimal query performance on a column store table. Segment quality can be measured by the number of rows in a compressed row group. Segment quality is most optimal where there are at least 100k rows per compressed row group and gain in performance as the number of rows per row group approach 1 million which is most rows a row group can contain let's talk about causes of poor column store index quality if we have identified tables with poor segment quality we want to identify the root cause these are some common causes of poor segment quality, memory pressure when index was built, high volume of DML operations, small or trickle load operations, and the last one, too many partitions. These factors can cause a column store index to have significantly less than the optimal 1 million rows per row group. They can also cause rows to go to the delta row group instead of a compressed row group. Let's talk about rebuilding indexes to improve segment quality. There are three steps. Step one, identify or create user which uses the right resource class. Second step, rebuild cluster column store indexes with higher resource class user. And the last step, verify cluster column store segment quality has improved. Let's talk about identify or create user which uses the right resource class one quick way to immediately improve segment quality is to rebuild the index the sql written by the above view returns an alter index rebuild statement which can be used to rebuild our indexes when rebuilding our indexes be sure that we allocate enough memory to the session that rebuilds our index Let's talk about step two, rebuild clustered column store indexes with higher resource class user. Instead of rebuilding the index, we could copy the table to a new table using create table as select. Which way is best? For large volumes of data, create table as select 
is usually faster than alter index. For small volumes of data, alter index is easier to use and won't require us to swap out the table. I will open a new query window. So here rebuild the entire clustered index, alter index all on dbo.table name rebuild. If we want to rebuild a single partition, rebuild a single partition, alter index all on the table name and rebuild partition. And if we want to rebuild a single partition with archi archival compression, so here is the syntax, alter index all on table name, rebuild partition with data compression equal to column store archive. And the last one, rebuild a single partition with column store compression. Rebuilding an index in Synapse SQL pool is an offline operation. Let's talk about last step. Three, verify cluster column store segment quality has improved. Rerun the query which identified table with poor segment quality and verify segment quality has improved. If segment quality did not improve, it could be that the rows in our table are extra wide. Consider using a high resource class or DW when rebuilding our indexes. So, so far we learned in this module, indexing tables in Synapse SQL and what are the index types and recommendations ex and examples for indexing tables in Azure Synapse SQL pool. And what are the causes of poor column store index quality and rebuilding indexes to improve segment quality. If you have any questions on this, please post them in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.